Hey guys, so today I'm filming my first makeup tutorial with my new lights. Still trying to sort of figure them out. Um, they really wash me out, so I, I have a lot of makeup on in real life right now. It's crazy how much the camera and these lights wash you out. But anyways, um, I did a purple smoky eye with a light center of the lid. So I did a little Instagram stalking of my favorite makeup artists and got a little inspiration and everybody seemed to be doing purple. And purple is one of my favorite colors to work with, so this is what I came up with. Hope you guys like it. If you wanna see how I did it, then keep watching. Bye. So I started by priming my eyelid with NYX eyeshadow base. It's white, so it makes all the colors really pop. I already did that before recording, whoops. Then I took the color Malt by MAC, and I just patted that in the center of the eyelid using a MAC 239 brush. I then took MAC Stars and Rockets, flipped that 239 brush over, and patted that on top. This was kind of a weird combo. Um, I actually would omit the stars and rockets and just stick with malt if I were you. So I just kind of went back and forth, put a little more malt on top, and blended it together. Just showing you that I you can use one brush for two different shadows. Then I'm going to take a MAC 217 and blend out any harsh edges. You can use any fluffy blending brush. Then I took a smudge brush from Bobbi Brown and the color Vibrant Grape from MAC. And I'm going to place this on the outer third and inner third of the eye. My eyelids are hooded, so I like to pull it taut when I'm doing something with small detail like this. I love that color Vibrant Grape, it is so pretty. Going back in with a blending brush, I'm going to blend out the edges again. There's lots of blending in this video, I'm warning you now. I'm going to say the word blending probably 25 times. <laughs> Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and the color Smut from MAC and I'm going to place that on top of the Vibrant Grape just on the very outside to deepen it and give it some more definition. Smut is kind of a charcoal color, but it has purple undertones in it, so it goes really well with purple and burgundy eyeshadows. Blending brush again. Blend, blend, blend. It should look like that. Then I'm going to take Samoa Silk from MAC and a MAC 224 blending brush. And I'm gonna use that as my transition color to blend everything out up towards the brow bone. And then I'm gonna take whatever's left over on that little smudge brush, there's a little bit of vibrant grape left, and I'm gonna connect the two purple sides in my crease, but keep that center part clear. I put a little bit more of the Vibrant Grape to intensify that crease a little bit. Blend. 
it's always nice to have a clean blending brush on hand to blend out any edges. That's why I use so many brushes. Going back in with Samoa Silk and a pencil brush. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line just in the center. I'm going to kind of mirror the upper eyelid to the lower eyelid. Pencil brush and some more vibrant grape. Outer third and inner third. And I'm going to go back in with Smut and do the same thing I did up top on bottom. Then I'm going to take this Angled Blending Brush by Hair and Makeup Addiction. These are really cool brushes. I just got them and I'm loving them. And I'm just going to use that, it's clean, to blend out the bottom. More blending with a clean brush. Then I'm going to take Rimmel Scandalize whole eyeliner in a nude color and I'm gonna put that in my lower waterline. If you have small eyes like I do, this really opens up your eyes and makes them look bigger. Ugh, my dark spots. Hate them. Then I'm gonna take Revlon Lash Potion, waterproof mascara, and do a very thin layer before I put on false lashes. These are Ardell 124. See, I had to cut a little bit off the inner corners and duo eyelash adhesive. I'm gonna bore you the eyelash step. So this is the color yogurt. Um, I forgot about that, so I had to go run downstairs and pick it up. Um, I use that to highlight my brow bone and further blend everything out. Then my Clinique bottom lash mascara. Thin coat on the bottom lashes. And then I went back in with my mascara just to blend my lashes with the fake ones. I use NARS Sheer Glow and Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Shake, shake, shake. And I mixed those together. My Sigma F80 Kabuki brush, the one I mentioned in my Products I Love video. I'm just gonna do my foundation. I'm also gonna bore you that whole process because it takes forever. Eee! Scary looking. know how to do foundation. If not, let me know and I'll do an updated foundation video. I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Concealer Duo and conceal underneath my eyes. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, which is my favorite for concealer, to smooth that out. And whatever's left over on the brush, I'll just kind of go over any spots I have that I want covered up. Then I'm going to take the setting powder that comes with that and a fluffy blending brush and set that concealer underneath my eyes. And my mineralized skin finish from MAC and a fluffy powder brush. I'm just going to powder the center of my face. my NARS Laguna Bronzer, which is broken. <laughs> so sad. And my Bobbi Brown ooh, Face Blender Brush, I think that's what it's called. I'm going to bronze it up. I'm going to do more of a contoured look with this just because the eyes are so dramatic. So I went a little heavy on the bronzer. on my neck and jawbone, blend it down on my neck so I'm all in color. I'm really sucking in those cheeks. I want that contoured 
really defined cheekbone look. Like that! <laughs> then I'm going to take my MAC Tenderling blush, which is one of my all-time favorites. Such a pretty, very soft nude pink. I'm going to put that on the back of my cheekbones. And then I'm going to take a clean, just fluffy brush and blend that over my whole face. My Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm going to brush through my brows and fill them in. I'm also not going to show that whole thing because it's very long and tedious and boring. And I used NYX Jumbo Lip Gloss in Sweetheart. It's a very pretty shimmery light pink. And I wasn't going to do highlighter because like I said I'm not a huge highlighter gal, but recently I have been loving this Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Definitely Defined. It is just so pretty. And then my Sigma Large Fluff Brush is the best brush to apply highlighter. I absolutely love it. Once the highlighter's done, that is it. I really hope you guys like it. It's a very fun look, and I had fun doing it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.